Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video for Thursday, the 8th of September. I'm James Spann. Weather around here looks great for the next few days. The big issue is the Gulf of Mexico. Got a tropical storm named Nate that, uh, well, if I had hair, I would pull it out at this phase of the game. Let's look at some of the sky cam shots, and uh, we'll take a look at things uh, this afternoon. First off, coming from Inverness. Uh, that's from the Wingate Inn looking south over toward uh, uh, Oak Mountain. A beautiful, beautiful afternoon. So nice. Uh, temperatures just where they ought to be. Well, see, they're 10 degrees below average, but, man, they feel good where they ought to be for the middle of fall, really. It's a Gadsden sky cam. You know, uh, northeast Alabama, they haven't seen any sunshine the past couple of days. They are basking in the sun today. And from uh, Starkville, Mississippi, we thought we'd check the sky cam across the state line. That's at the uh, Comfort Suites on Russell Street, looking back over towards Scott Field, where the sky is bright and sunny in Octibihaw County. All right, there's our water vapor satellite shot, and uh, the upper low is drifting a little north of here, still providing some really nice weather conditions for the east. And uh, you can see Katia there on the right of the screen that's lifting out. Temperatures this afternoon, you bet they're nice. Uh, Gadsden 72, Birmingham 78, Tuscaloosa 79. Only spot in the 80s, Montgomery. They've got 83. And uh, we'll see a slow warming trend. Don't worry, you know, those hot days will be back. We know that, but let's enjoy this while we have it. And around the nation, again, you can see that pocket of cooler air over the east with the upper low. And, uh, again, really hard to find any super hot weather anywhere. Even Texas and Oklahoma feel pretty good. They're mostly in the uh, 80s there. Watch warning maps. Still uh, flooding issues galore up over parts of uh, uh, the northeast. Pretty messy up there from uh, Washington into upstate New York. Severe weather should not be an issue for the rest of today and tonight. No formal risks, so we'll check the rain expected for the next five days, valid through Tuesday morning of next week at 7 o'clock. And again, the wild card, it's uh, the Gulf. You can see the unsettled nature of things down there. A tropical storm Nate is uh, going to determine, I think, if we get any rain. And that's a wild card. Let's look. we got the tropical trio, Katia, Maria, and Nate. Uh... Katia, the hurricane, I, I, I don't know how you say this thing. I've said it like 18 different ways. The K-Storm, uh, Katia, is uh, packing sustained winds estimated at uh, 85 miles an hour. Looks a little better organized. It's uh, east of Cape Hatteras, producing some pretty rough surf, I'm sure, on the middle Atlantic coast. And again, this is on the way out. Gets involved in the westerlies and uh, headed out to sea. Boy, Maria looks ill-defined. That, uh, that just looks pretty... Uh, Pretty messy there. I'm not so sure there's a circulation with that. Uh, although, if it uh, survives, the models hang on to it and they bring it uh, on a track just uh, east of the Bahamas in five days. And uh, notice how the models have adjusted south. Uh, they've got the thing coming across Puerto Rico and the Leeward Islands now. So there's been a southward adjustment. So, you know, there's no total guarantee this will recurve. More than likely it should if it stays north of Puerto Rico and Hispaniola like that. And again, despite the horrible look of this thing, the models want to ramp it up to a hurricane. Um, in fact, a few models bring it up to major hurricane status, Category 3, so we'll keep an eye on that. Here's the official track from the Hurricane Center, and that makes everybody in Miami a little nervous when you see it like that. I mean, uh, the good news, uh, the, the uh, there should be a lot of shear on the track, and uh, this thing should not intensify much. Uh, in fact, the guys at the Hurricane Center are showing as a tropical storm all the way. Uh, and again, we'll see. We'll check the GFS here in a moment, and I'll tell you now, it recurves it, but it, it, again, that's a pretty close call. All right, Nate, this is the one we're watching. This is down there in the Bay of Campeche, about as far southwest in the Gulf as you can go. Now, this is the 18Z model runs, and they're just all over the board. Uh, the 12Z model runs started that shift north, and you've got the models kind of split into two camps. Some bring it north, some bring it west. It all depends on the strength of this weakness in the upper flow up here. Uh, and I'll tell you now that the Canadian and the European have backed off on the northern track, but the GFS is now on board with the northern track. Uh, it's it's model madness. And, you know, my, my hunch has been that this could be a storm that wouldn't perhaps affect the central Gulf Coast. And, and hunches are not forecast. But just based on climatology and years of sitting here watching these things and the persistent weakness that we have seen, the reason it's so cool 
You have to wonder if it might ultimately try and pull up this way next week. Uh, there's the uh, intensity forecast, and most models bring it up to a Category 2 hurricane in about uh, really 48 to 72 hours. And uh, understand there's a lot of latent heat energy in the Gulf, so this thing, uh, you know, could be formidable if it wants to make a run for the uh, Central Gulf. Here's the official track from the Hurricane Center, and uh, there's very, very slow motion here. Steering currents are weak and ill-defined. Uh, they've got the, they've adjusted to the right on their track. They've got it uh, uh, Tuesday morning as a hurricane, still below 25 north. And again, the best possible case, everybody knows this, is that this thing comes up into Texas and just wets down that state and puts out those fires. But, uh, you know, will it affect Mexico, Texas, or come up here? Well, let's see what the GFS says. GFS has done pretty well in tropical stuff this year. Uh, this is tomorrow, uh, Friday evening at 7 o'clock local time at 500 millibars. Big upper low north of us. And down below that should be another beautiful day. If you like the weather today, you should like the weather tomorrow. should be warmer. Highs uh, low 80s. Got Nate down below us and uh, Katia on the way out. There's Saturday as we kick off the weekend. Nice day, sunny with mid-80s, kind of warm. It's going to feel warm compared to recent days. Showers with the upper low to the north, tropical moisture to the south. You can see uh, uh, Nate in the Gulf. Here's Sunday. Nate trying to move north. Look out now. Uh, and moisture begins to feed up in here. All of a sudden, the GFS has moisture coming up into the southern half of the state. And that would uh, suggest we better mention some risk of showers uh, from Interstate 20 south. We'll hold off for now because of model inconsistency. We don't like to, you know, adjust the forecast based on one run. Let's go to Monday of next week. And uh, again, you can see the deal. You've got Nate in the Gulf and you've got Maria in the Atlantic. And uh, the, the main flow is off to the west. There's a slight weakness in through here. And down below that, tropical moisture begins to feed up into Alabama with a chance of showers on Monday. That looks kind of wet. Um uh, and right now, our ongoing forecast has it dry as a bone. But it's all, you know, Nate. Nate, Nate is just, Nate's sitting there. I mean, it's doing nothing. Let's go to Tuesday. It's drifting northwest now. And again, look at Maria. It's over there just kind of sitting out over there east of the Bahamas. This is a really interesting uh, forecast for these two uh, tropical cyclones. And we stay kind of moist. There's Wednesday. Maria beginning to move due north. Nate drifting northwest toward the Texas coast. And man, they are just, you just ooh, they, they can feel that rain. But look at Thursday. Week from today, Maria's making the recurve, and again for those folks that watch us on the Atlantic coast, there's there's no carved in stone on that. But again, we'll roll with the GFS for now and assume a recurvature on Maria. And Nate is sitting just southeast of Galveston, and again this is this is going to be a problem for the oil production, uh, you know, rigs out there in the Gulf. They might have to evacuate those things. We'll go to Friday of next week. This is the uh, 16th. And here it comes. The, the, the GFS brings Nate up in the direction of Lake Charles, Louisiana, and re, the Sabine Pass. And, and if this is right, the heaviest rain is going to be, you know, east of the circulation center. So Texas gets robbed. It will be Louisiana. And then uh, the following day on Saturday, the uh, 17th, circulation is near Vicksburg. Very heavy rain over Mississippi. And on the 18th, that thing has come on through here. So, you know, if this is right, the GFS is telling us Nate is going to blow through here with a big rain event in about 8, 9, 10 days um, with the landfall of the thing on the Louisiana coast. Again, this is nothing but model output. This could be 1,200 miles off. But again, the, the idea is on the table. You can't take it off the table. Uh, the, the, what's going to happen today, the uh, uh, NOAA aircraft, the research aircraft, is coming in there with drop signs, and that will be in the OZ runs tonight. So when I talk to you tomorrow morning on this thing, we'll have much better confidence in the uh, global modeling. We'll check the end of the forecast on the 24th of September. Look at that trough digging down in here. I love to see that after a hot summer, and uh, look at the thickness values coming down. That's a 1,032 millibar high that's over Kansas. Hey, That'll get us in the 40s there, if this is right. Now, you know, this is voodoo country. And another deal down there in the Bay of Campeche. So uh, always a very interesting time of the year to watch the weather. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you are local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, evening, and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news 
in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.